Aloha everyone. I'm going to describe our stroke technique using video analysis of Tuparia King stroke as a model. Tuparia King is a 2021 Bakaama sprint champion of the 500 meter and 250 meter sprints. Clips of the 2021 Bakaama Sprint Nationals premier men's W1 500 meter final race have been used in this video and a link has been provided for you to watch the full race video in the video description. I am not describing Tuparia King's stroke. He has his own way of describing his stroke, and I have a, supplied a link to Tuparia King's video in the video description where he describes his stroke technique. I am simply using clips from a race video of the 2021 Bakaama Sprint Race to analyze the stroke and describe our stroke technique that we use at Kanaka. I'm going to describe the stroke motion in four phases. First is the return phase. The return phase starts at the end of the previous stroke and ends at the reach position. The second phase is the catch phase. This starts at the reach position and ends when the paddle blade is fully submerged in the water. The third phase is the power phase. This starts when the blade is fully submerged in the water and ends when the bottom hand has reached mid-thigh. The fourth phase is the release phase, which starts at the end of the power phase and ends when the blade is completely out of the water. The first phase is the return phase. The start of the return phase is the release position of the previous stroke. At the release position, you should be leaning forward about 20 degrees. The number of degrees is not important. Both hands should be over the gunnel. Bottom hand shoulder should be turned back one quarter turn, and your back should be straight. You should be looking forward with your head up and centered in the canoe. Both feet should be together on the floor in front of you. In this view of the release position, Notice the paddle is completely out of the water. The red lines indicate your back is straight and hinged forward about 20 degrees. The green line indicates that both hands should be over the gunnel. The yellow circle indicates that your shoulders should be turned back one quarter turn with an upper thoracic twist. I'm dividing the return phase into two parts. During the first part of the return, you are sitting up while you're drawing the paddle forward and across the gunnels. During the second part of the return, you are hinging forward while moving your hands forward and twisting to the reach position. The following is a view of the return phase, part one. Notice that you sit up while drawing the paddle forward and across to the opposite gunnel, like a sword from a scabbard with assistance from the bottom hand. The yellow line shows both hand positions with blade shaft along the left gunnel at the start of the return and then across the gunnels after you sit up. The red lines show that your back position is hinged forward about 21 degrees at the start of the return, and the green lines show that your final back hinge angle is around 14 degrees. The green arrow shows the direction your back is moving as you sit up. The number of degrees is not important. The important part is that you sit up more at the beginning of the return as you draw your paddle forward and across the gunnels. This view shows how the top hand arm remains straight or slightly bent as the paddle is drawn across the gunnels. This view also allows a better view of the back showing how you sit up during the first part of the return. The following is a view of the return phase part two after you complete the first part of the return. You hinge forward about 10 degrees as you bring your top hand back towards your forehead turning your shoulders back about one quarter turn as your hand moves above your forehead. The blue circles show the top hand movement back and up. Your back is straight and your head is up and looking forward. The red arrow shows the direction of your back movement as you hinge forward to the reach position. Your back travels forward from the red line to the green line about 10 degrees. The number of degrees is not important. You just want to hinge a little forward as you move to the reach position. Your top hand stays towards the right side of your head during this movement. 
As your shoulders turn back, you arch your hips forward through your heels, feeling the forward pressure on your feet. Your bottom hand moves forward to the reach position as your shoulders turn, capturing your momentum. Your bottom arm should be straight and parallel with the gunnel at the final reach position. The yellow lines show the lower arm movement straightening to the reach position. This is a view of the non-paddle side during the second part of the return. This view shows how the top hand arm bends and remains bent and rises back above your head as you hinge forward. Keep your back straight as you hinge forward. This view allows better view of how the shoulders are turned forward one quarter turn at the reach position. The reach position is your position at the end of the return phase. When in the reach position, the top hand is one fist length above your head with a bent arm. The blue lines indicate how your top arm is bent. The green line indicates the top of the head. Notice the distance the top hand is above the top of the head. The top hand is about two fist lengths in front of your forehead. The bottom arm is straight and nearly parallel with the gunnel as indicated by the red line. The top hand shoulder is twisted back and the bottom hand shoulder is twisted forward one quarter turn which is indicated by the yellow line. Don't reach so far forward that your center of gravity shifts and you put your weight into the canoe pushing the nose down. This is the front view of the return phase motion to the reach position. The circular yellow line shows the top hand motion to the release position. The top hand movement is moving across the gunnels as the bottom hand is moving forward while sitting up during part one of the return. The top hand moves up and back above the forehead as the bottom hand moves forward while hinging forward during part two of the return. During the return, you arch your hips to your heels, feeling forward pressure on your feet while turning your shoulders forward. The catch phase is movement from the reach position to the catch position. From the reach position, you hinge forward about 7 degrees as you move your arms to the water. You push your paddle blade into the water without resistance until the blade is buried in the water. Your top hand moves outside the gunnel to stack over your bottom hand at the catch position. Your shoulders move to be square at the catch position. You want to avoid downward pressure as the blade slips into the water. To prevent pushing the boat down into the water, causing extra resistance. I have drawn the lines in this view to annotate the catch movement of the shaft, bottom arm, and back. The red lines indicate back movement as you hinge forward to the catch position. The green lines show the top and bottom hand travel as you move to the catch position. Notice how the top hand moves forward and down as the bottom hand moves down and back. The blue lines indicate the motion of the bottom arm. Notice how the bottom arm is straight the entire time as it drops into the water as you hinge forward. In this view, the yellow lines indicate shoulder motion as you move to the catch position. Notice that the bottom hand shoulder is turned forward and the top hand shoulder is turned back at the reach position, and the shoulders square up at the catch position. In this view, the red lines indicate the top arm movement and the bent nature of the top arm. Notice that the top arm remains bent as you move to the catch position. This is the front view as you move from the reach position to the catch position. Notice how the top hand moves down from the right middle of the head and above the head to the left shoulder at the forehead height. The red cross indicates the top hand start position above the head and then the middle of the head. The top hand moves forward, down, and to the left, ending at the green cross at forehead height and over the left shoulder. The hands are now stacked one above the other and the paddle shaft is straight up and down outside the gunnel. The power phase starts at the catch position with your blade fully buried and ends when your bottom hand reaches about mid-thigh. At the catch, you push with your top hand shoulder while pulling with your bottom hand shoulder. The red lines show the blade handle motion from hand to hand. 
Notice how the blade pivots on the top hand as both hands move in unison. The bottom of the red lines indicate the bottom hand motion as it travels back to mid-thigh. You want to keep your bottom hand at the same level as it travels back. The green lines show how the back hinges another 5 degrees forward as you complete the power stroke. Having the back remain in one place during the power phase is also acceptable. Avoid downward pressure pushing down or upward pressure pulling up on your blade during the power phase to avoid pushing the boat into the water and increasing resistance. The yellow line shows that the shoulders are square at the beginning of the power phase and turn back a quarter turn at the end of the power phase. This view shows the bottom arm movement and bend during the power phase. The green lines show the straightness of the bottom arm. Notice how the bottom arm is straight at the beginning and then bends while moving back. This is a view of the power phase from the opposite side. Notice how the top arm is bent and the back is straight through the entire motion. This is a view of the power phase from the front. Notice how the top hand travels from about forehead level to just below the shoulder. Your back could hinge forward a little more as you complete the power phase, or it could remain in one position. Either one is acceptable. The release phase starts at the end of the power phase and ends when your top hand reaches the gunnel and your blade is out of the water, or when you slide the blade out of the water at the beginning of the next return. The release starts when your bottom hand reaches about mid-thigh. At that point, your top hand continues toward the gunnel while your bottom hand sweeps back to your hip, while you start to sit up a little, and while you continue to turn your shoulders back one quarter turn. The paddle will naturally exit the water as your top hand reaches the gunnel and your bottom hand reaches your hip. I have annotated the blade shaft movement and the back movement in this view. The red lines show the paddle shaft movement from top hand to bottom hand. Notice that both hands move in unison as the top hand moves down and the bottom hand moves back. The green lines indicate back motion as you begin to sit up about 5 degrees. The bottom hand shoulder continues to turn back one quarter turn as you complete the release. The release is completed when the paddle is out of the water. This is the front view of the release phase. Notice how the top hand continues down while the shoulder turns back and you begin to sit up. That concludes our video analysis of the stroke for 2022. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Aloha everyone.